Welcome back to not another new vlog. So for today's video, I kind of wanted to show you guys Sorry, I keep touching my hair, but I wanted to show you guys this makeup look that I wear in literally all of my TikToks Mostly all of my vlogs and yeah, just kind of an updated makeup routine, you know, get back into it Start maybe doing more makeup videos So if you wanted to know how I do makeup every day, it literally takes me like 15 minutes. I'm not even joking Um, we're just just keep watching I literally feel like Draco Malfoy. Why do I feel like I'm saying his name wrong? Anyways, we're just gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury in four medium, and I'm literally just gonna directly dot it on my face like this. This is definitely the makeup routine that I do every single day when I do like my outfits of the day on TikTok. It is so easy, and I actually wear foundation now, and it is the Matte and Poreless. Uh, I think it's the Maybelline in the color. I'm pretty sure this is soft tan. Ooh, I definitely like ripped off the shade of this, so I'm not sure, but I will link everything down below with the shades and stuff. And I wear foundation now because it's so, I don't feel like it's as heavy. I just put a little bit on. Every time I've done like a makeup routine or anything like that, on my channel anytime I like did foundation it was always for like more special occasion and now I've gotten into the habit of almost wearing it every day which is like bad but I have no problem like walking out with makeup it's just for I don't know it just I perfected it it's easy it's as easy as when I don't wear foundation I just take this beauty blender and I spray it with the Mario Badescu like that and I go right in on the back just a little bit and then I start patting it in and I don't put the foundation directly on my face anymore because what I realized is when I did that and again I'm just scooping up the last bit you can see there's nothing more in my hand and I'm kind of distributing it all over but I noticed that when I put it directly on my face it was more it looked more cakey I don't know how to describe it not that I mean I wouldn't say it was cakey but it definitely like would go into all my fine lines more so unless I get Botox or something then okay I have to be fairly um, generous is that the right word with my foundation or else it's just not a good look also now that I am fully blonde again it is much harder to not get it in the hairline and I have to or else I look crazy so this is another good way with why I don't like to have a lot on and then I'll just kind of put it in I like to really drag it inside my hairline and a little bit over my ears and then I'll do the same like this and now that that is all blended it almost feels like a very light almost like a tinted moisturizer in a way with this Charlotte Tilbury I feel like this dilutes the foundation and makes it look really pretty and soft and just more glowy because I cannot do matte my skin it will literally look like the Sahara Desert if I do that now for concealer I mix two if you guys have watched any of my makeup videos ever this is like the OG it's the only concealer I ever really use and it is again the Maybelline fit me in the color fair and I think this is what I was trying to say oh and in the color sand so I will take sand on the inside and I will kind of put a little bit like this and some days I feel like I want to conceal a lot other days I feel like I don't want to really conceal at all it just depends today I'm feeling a little bit more light and then I'm just gonna try to cover up the pimples I am breaking out so bad like right here lately just on this side of my face which is the left side like my right side gets nothing it's <laughs> literally just the left side now with fair we're gonna be going in right in the center. I don't know, I like to mix the concealers cause I feel like it just gives it that perfect shade. I don't really want my eyes to be like super bright and then I don't really want my eyes to be super like the same color as my face. I don't know if that made any type of sense. Just cause I feel like when it's too bright, it just looks like a little bit 2016 beauty guru of me and I don't wanna do that. And now I'm gonna use the flat tip like that and I'm just gonna blend it in so I'm using this eco tools beauty blender and I don't know what it is but I got this at Marshall's and because I needed to replace it because I've always used the eco tools because I can't really find it at Target anymore and I think they changed like the formulation because it doesn't blend as good as my original 
one did also this one is slightly more green than my original one so I don't know what happened but I'm noticing the more I use it the more um, softer it's getting so that could be it as well just if you guys do end up getting this and you're like whoa this is really hard because the first like three times that I use this I'm like why is it not blending anything like as well as it did because I know this is my favorite beauty blender but I think I don't know it might be because it just needs to get broken into I don't know if that's like a thing with beauty blenders and then I just go like this it is better to use like your ring finger or something to really pat in concealer if you have pimples um, because it's not gonna take away as it's not gonna take it as much as like a beauty blender will do so I don't know why I'm actually doing this but it's fine it's the way I ran out of memory on my camera so I was trying to delete footage and I I accidentally deleted the footage of me applying the bronzer I'm literally gonna punch myself but it's okay because we didn't go that far all I did was I took the milk makeup bronzing stick if you guys have been around for a while now you know that this is all I use this thing is literally so old like look look at that I have legit been using this since like 2017 like since I still worked at Urban this is how old this is I see this in every video but I'm not joking this is like my ride or die I use this every day and all I did was I applied it with this a Sephora 47 pro foundation brush and I just go right in sometimes I'll go like literally directly but that's only if I'm not wearing foundation because I don't want to move stuff around I'll just go in like this I mean this part is fairly not new I done this in every single everyday makeup tutorial but I'll just go in pat it and then what I'll do is I'll set it in like to the skin fuck it why not just do it again okay it's okay we can layer products I used to put it like right here but now I go a little bit higher and just kind of pat it in like this and then I'll go all the way over and then you know you get the gist I do under the chin and I do that just because when I go in and blend it with my actual beauty blender my eco tools it will still put drag some down. So if I applied it here and I were to blend it out, the bronzer would kind of drag more and would kind of drive my face down. So now I'm getting into the habit of applying my stuff a lot more higher and it just blends so smoothly. Like it is literally my favorite. You can see I applied it here, but it's kind of like, oh, I mean, I've already been blending the crap out of it. Now, as you can see, there is stuff on my nose. I have not blended that in yet. And what I did is I used this BH Cosmetics brush in 129. It came in a set and I do the same thing where I'll go in and I will just drag like this over and then up uh, not drag my saying drag no I will like pat it in and then I'll go in so you can kind of see hopefully um, where I applied it and we will be blending it in don't worry I did not blend it in yet so I'm not looking that crazy and I will literally be using the same eco tools thing as we were using before and I did put a little bit I have not blended that in yet this is kind of where it cut me off apply it like this I'll kind of blend it like that and then I will take the flat side again and just kind of press like that so I'm not trying to really do that much and then I'll use the other side the side that I have not used yet and kind of do the same thing to diffuse the line a little bit the line will still be there but over time after we start applying um, a bunch of powders and stuff it will go away and then I'll go like that and as you can see that is kind of how I contour my nose this is literally like my favorite cream blush ever it is the honest beauty in coral peach I do have the rare beauty one but that one as you guys know if you've been on tiktok or anything it is just literally so pigmented you have to use the tiniest bit and I like to use that more on like no makeup just because I like to use everything with a beauty blender and I feel like when I use a beauty blender with it I don't know I don't want to use my hands it's still a really good blush though but I like doing this for more every day you can kind of see it's a peachy pink and I'll go directly in it like this and I will again be focusing more on the higher points and I try not to drag the blush in a lot just because I want to keep everything very high and you can see I'm barely applying pressure and it's already like woof like this blush is crazy like already that is so much so I'm gonna take a little bit more and do the same thing to the other side kind of apply it and now you know I'll go in maybe I'll use the back side I kind of mix all the products on my beauty blender just so everything kind of ties together more and I will go 
up higher and you can kind of see how it's starting to diffuse just a little bit more and then sometimes i'll go like a little bit over the nose just on top just to add like a little bit of a sun-kissed glow that is all the cream products that i'm going to use on my face now we're going to kind of set everything so i'm going to use kind of this side right here and go underneath my eyes a little bit just because it will crease like it will literally take a minute and then it's already crease central it is not okay my eyes are so creasy it is just a hate it but i'm gonna go ahead and use this rcma the original color powder i love the laura mercier one but as of right now i have like barely left like literally i have none in it and i want to save that for la so um yeah normally i would be using the Lori mercier translucent powder but this works just as fine i'm gonna go in and just dump the powder in and going directly with my beauty blender it's fine that you know it might still have the bronzer because at that point like i I can go like that and it's gone but i like the beauty blender to be a little bit again damp go in and kind of press it in like that i feel like when i apply it with a beauty blender my under eyes they tend to everything just sticks better i don't know how to describe it i feel like when i use a brush it like sets it doesn't really like penetrate the skin i feel like i crease more when if i don't use a beauty blender and i will put this anywhere where of course i will tend to crease or anything like that and then i like to put any excess like this and just kind of lightly tap that all in and i'm done really patting it in as you can see it tends to go away the more i pat it in we're gonna go in here and then the same with underneath the eye to wipe away kind of excess i use the morphe m438 it's kind of like this type of brush and i'll just go like that and then just i don't even know if this does anything but i hope that this really takes away any excess powder that might be sitting right on top especially right here like when it gets really in the crease and then wipe it away again i love it because it really goes like right in with the pointy tip for the rest of the powders i'm going to use this really old ulta brush this my friend's mom gave to me there's not even a number on it nothing and we're gonna go in right with the og mac give me sun i feel like anytime i do these videos they're a little bit repetitive because i really do use the same products and these are still not replaced like this is still the same mac give me sun that i've been using for years you can see it's like making a dent but i don't know just this stuff lasts for so long and i'm gonna again do the same thing where i started up here and beware this is very orange and now i feel like i have to be more careful especially because i'm more blonde so i could look like i'm an oompa loompa really fast but i'm gonna go ahead and kind of circular motions and then kind of tapping it i'm trying to be really careful i'm trying to use a very light hand um one because it's really hard not to get it into the blonde and two um this can get very heavy handed really fast and then same thing to the other side you can see i'm kind of just brushing like this go like that add a little bit i'll go underneath and i don't like to contour my chin a lot just because I feel like in person, if you ever see someone that has like a contoured chin, nine times out of 10, you could literally see the line. And even though it might look great, like right now in camera, if I did it, it's not gonna look good in person unless you wanna put foundation all the way down your neck. And unless it's like a special occasion, I don't wanna do that. So usually I will only put right here, just like that. And then to kind of, you know, diffuse it a little bit, I'll go in with the beauty blender again and I'll just kind of like, especially right here, just drag it a little bit like that. And then hopefully, I hope that if people see me in person, it looks a little bit diffused. But I mean, at this point, we all know that everybody will contour their little is it chin, their chin, whatever. So, I mean, it's to be expected. So it's whatever. But we're going to go like this again a little bit over and now for the blush i'm going to be using the rouge romance this shit is so pigmented it is the jaclyn hill 
and I'm just gonna go in with the fancy pants and boudoir like these two shades right here like whatever just mix and I'm trying to have a very light hand with this because I don't want anything too intense crap I already got it like in my hairline and then again I'm just literally laying it directly where I put my bronzer I'm doing the same thing kind of dusting it I'm very messy when I apply stuff like this. I know I said I try not to put my blush down here, but here I am literally doing that exact same thing. It's fine. We're, we're totally fine. Hopefully this will make it better so you can see more of the tinier, the tinier parts. Cause I know, I know when I used to do makeup tutorials, I tried to make it really professional, but now it's like, mm, I don't even care about that. But we're gonna do the Bobbi Brown in Golden Light. And this is kind of how I contour my nose. This is the perfect like ashy shade. I don't contour with my bronzer because it's very orange and I don't want a very orangey nose. But I'm gonna go in with this beige cosmetics again this was in another set i think this is number eight it kind of has this type of tip and i will just go like that do excess and then hopefully this is gonna focus right okay this is very hard how can i do this with you guys you know what let's look here so i go right underneath and then i kind of drag it down like that i don't know how well that's picking up on camera but hopefully you guys can at least get an idea and normally when I do this full routine um, it takes me very fast I feel like because I'm trying to explain everything and kind of look back on the footage it's taking me a lot longer and then I'll kind of go right here and again I try to do a lot of blending on this part because I don't want my nose to look too chiseled. Sometimes I want to do that if I have a full eye look, but right now I don't. So I kind of want to diffuse the situation. We'll do that later because right now we're going to go in with the Jaclyn highlighter in the color ice. I freaking love this highlighter. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to highlight my nose. I used to highlight um, obviously my cheeks and stuff. I don't do that. I haven't done that in so long. I'm taking this at random fan brush this is actually the morphe times of bretman rock you got this if you bought his highlighter i don't know if they still do that but or maybe you didn't maybe i just bought this i don't even remember but i'm just gonna go in tap away the excess and i'm just gonna go straight down i love when my nose is highlighted i don't know why i just i think it looks really pretty it really draws the attention i feel like it makes it look smaller um i don't know could be wrong but again going in there's nothing on the same brush i'm kind of gonna go over the highlighter a little bit to kind of not have it look straight i don't know if that makes sense kind of do a line so it almost looks like there is a little gap i'm probably explaining this so poorly i'm gonna take kind of lick my finger and go over my nose ring so we're not looking too crazy and now for my favorite part i love freck this thing is literally my favorite thing i use eyeshadow but the problem with eyeshadow like is it's it fades away because it's powder so freck even though this little thing is expensive it is literally so worth it to me i love it i'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all of my tiny little beauty marks so right here like that i have one right here one right here and then we got one right there <gasps> okay i kind of fucked that up but it's, it's fine because when you go like that it kind of just erases it one right there and then i have two on my nose and if i'm feeling crazy i'll freckle out my nose if i want to but i love kind of gotta diffuse that one that one was looking a little bit too rough i will put one right here I will create one kind of like that now with all the little details we're gonna go with the Mario master crystal reflector and quartz I saw this on TikTok literally months ago and someone was like the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't and it was just literally just wearing this on your eyelid every day and I was like Ugh. I am gonna do that and now I literally wear this on my eyelid every day like you can see how like can you it's like dirty from like my foundation because i will literally just go in right with my finger and hopefully this is going to pick up on camera and i will just apply it like this i'll build it i'll do it about three times kind of go in 
and really just make it sparkle and have it come out and this i feel like is another form of like highlighting i don't know just like how it highlights the nose i kind of like how it looks on my eyes i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side just go ahead go in again i dip and do this about three times because i feel like because i've been touching it and kicking it with foundation um it's a lot harder to grab it now when i do it this way because i'm so messy with it because i literally use this every day i have zoom you i have zoomed you in even closer to show you guys the brows which is literally i just use a brown shadow like that's it this is the benefit brow i couldn't even tell you the color it's like messed up i've been using this stuff since junior year of high school this is not the same one though i got another one but i will literally just go in with this brown shade i don't even touch this anymore it's been years since i've done this this is very like you know anastasia beverly hill dip brow kind of situation and i just like to use the powder i did use this brow pen i forgot what it's called i think it was like folklore i used it all the time but i ran out and i'm just too lazy to honestly repurchase it online but i loved that pen i used it all the time until obviously it ran out but i go ahead and just use a spoolie that i stole from sephora my cat is meowing at me and we're gonna do this bh cosmetics kind of fluffy eyeliner brush but this is definitely a fluffy one it's not harsh which is what i like like i would not use this for um liquid eyeliner because it's just too fluffy i don't know that's the only way i could describe it and it came in that same pack and all i do is again i brush it as you can see and then I will go in, I'm kind of doing this far away. I need a good mirror, this is very hard to do. But hopefully it's it's gonna turn out fine because I'm doing my brows really far away right now and I cannot do it when it's that far away. And then as you can see, I just kind of brush like that. And then I'll go in and kind of try to fill in the arch right here. And all I'm doing is literally using that shadow go like that and then hold on i need a better mirror okay hopefully you can still see because i don't i don't know what it's doing right now i'm gonna go in like this elf a brow gel i don't have super stubborn brows so this just works really well for my eyebrows i feel like if you have a hard time placing your eyebrows in place this might be a little bit too light i don't know you could use the soap method or i feel like there's just a bunch of really good eyebrow gels i just like this one because it's cheap and it works for me and i will kind of brush it up like this and then i'll let the um the brow gel kind of sit and dry out and then i'm going to go in with a q-tip and kind of round it and shape them a little bit more if i want so i'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow off camera really quick we're gonna go in with the same thing that we used for our eyebrows and the same benefit brow thing i kind of try to look i don't go like this because i realize when i go like this that is when my eyeliner just doesn't look good but i will kind of just look straight into my mirror i know this is really hard and it's highlighting my bags really well what if i do it this way i'm gonna look straight ahead and then i'm going to kind of draw it out almost touching i'm going to kind of connect it from the top so kind of like this and then just fill it in again the whole time my eyes are wide open they're not going like this or anything like that just because i do have like kind of the hooded eyes i think that's what they're called so if i don't do it this way it ends up looking crazy and then i kind of diffuse it by just using whatever excess i have and then that is kind of how i do it sometimes it's skinnier sometimes it's thicker it just depends how i'm feeling and then i'll kind of go in and maybe you know diffuse it make it look a little bit more blended and that is how i do my kind of everyday easy wing it's very simple and if i mess up i could literally just use a q-tip and it's easy because it's just shadow 
as for the mascara finally we're gonna use this really crusty old um literally i think i got this at forever 21 i normally don't really curl them when i do it like this just because i want my mascara to wing out um and not go up it just honestly just depends on my mood when i go out my face looks more like bella hadid snatch so it just depends on the mood i'm going for and i'll kind of just go like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know i'm not trying to go mega curl on this one two three four nine 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 nine, whatever you know and now i'm going to use a random mascara this is the uh, monsieur big lancome one um this does i i don't want to say transfer but i feel like it gets black under here a lot um this is just the one i have because it was free my all-time favorite one if you guys know is the l'oreal telescopic or the l'oreal big voluminous i love those those are my go-to's but this is just the one that i have right now because i'm cheap and um it was a gift so why not use it it came in like i don't know it was like a christmas gift or something so we're gonna go like this and as you can see i kind of focused more like that you guys know i love my fake eyelashes i used to wear them all the time but lately when i've been doing this like everyday makeup thing um i just don't have time to do my fake lashes like how i always used to because I'm doing like a more fuller face now, so I don't wanna do all that, but I still love those fake eyelashes. And we're gonna go kind of like this. For my all time favorite lip gloss, it is gonna be Madeline NYX Butter Gloss. Literally, I love this. I just put it on my bare lips, and no lip liner, you know, just making it pop. I feel like when I wear lip liner sometimes, I look crazy. And especially now that my hair is blonde, it's not as dark. Um, it looks even more crazier. So I like to just wear gloss a lot of the time when I am fully blonde and I like to put just like a little bit on top. By the way, this is like fully out, which is why I keep dipping it and voila we are officially done but here is the finished result um literally again like i said i was being very chit chatty but this usually takes me about 15 minutes it's so easy i again it's my go-to which is why i have no problem getting up and doing my makeup now and like actually wearing foundation because it takes me so fast to do it versus like back in the day i was like such a perfectionist and it would take me like an hour to do this but now i feel like i've perfected it which is why it's very easy for me to wear makeup now if it's anything i can say is definitely find a routine if you do want to wear makeup or like to wear makeup every day something that's easy that's not as hard because then it's almost like clockwork like kind of like setting up your coffee in the morning it takes like five seconds and now i understand how all of these pta moms were like always look so put together because when i used to babysit there were and i would like drop the kids off at school or something like all of these moms would always look so ready and i'm like how are you guys like a mom and always looking so good it's because they have a very fast and easy way to do their makeup it takes them it takes them like 10 seconds which this literally takes me like 10 seconds so i have no problem doing it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair get ready film my little outfit of the day do all of that stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed again this is the makeup look that you see all the time in all of my tiktoks it's fairly simple and i hope that i don't know it inspired you guys and you got some tips and i will see you guys in my next video bye